Hey guys, Panda Brady here once again, and uh, we're back with more Doki Doki Literature Club. Today, I'm going to show my poem to Natsuki. Because why not? Hmm. Huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, Prince. S. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes? Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you, though. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Not that I want you to like it or anything. B -b Baka. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly. Didn't you use that already? Yeah. People can try, but that's about it. Oh, oh, I see. Eagles can fly is the title. Doi. Uh. It's a little childish, but it works pretty well for her character. But that's just me. Also, I was told to uh, keep the uh, game files open by, um, who was that? Uh, crud, I should have wrote it down. Uh, somebody from Roleplayer Guild. Uh, I'm in a roleplay for uh, Fairy Tale. But, uh, yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems? For people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Yeah. Just like I was saying. It works. Because the eagles can fly. People can try. But they just can't. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I- <laughs> that's what it means to be a pro. Shing! Does she have a little- I think she's got a little cute fang, or whatever it's called. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect from the youngest one here, did you? Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. That's... that's adorable. And now for the final girl, Sayori! Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Panda Brady! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overacting, overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Neither do I. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's, Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people do, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Panda Brady poem! Just like the Panda Party, because there ain't no party like a Panda Party, because Panda Party don't stop. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I 
I'm really happy that you... but I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Panda Brady. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, uh, thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Oh, alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. My voice. <coughs> Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, We've been way too out of touch. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me... rub the sleepy from my eyes. thought that said rib at first. I was like, what? Uh, are you asking me to come out and play? Are you testing me to wish away a rainy day? Oh, trusting me to wish away... Blah, blah. I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Breakfast! <laughs> uh, Sayori. Maybe Sayori is more my... Well, more like me, anyways. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. I guess I look forward to it. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if ev <coughs> Sorry. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's 11 o'clock at night. <clears throat> this is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's why I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My ands let Ands? My ands. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration, because she doesn't quite get it. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly, because she doesn't quite get it. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Er, yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... The language. Uh, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? 
You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something else to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. <laughs> Sayori liked it, and Panda Brady did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, <laughs> excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Panda Brady liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Eh? You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Panda Brady appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Eh? Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Panda Brady started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Panda Brady! She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The main should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Panda Brady. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Panda Brady? Um... Well? Uh... How did I get dragged into this? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So... Of course, that's going to be... Um... Sayori, help me out here. Natsuki... Natsuki glares at me, driving up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri... But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel this feel like this? Panda Brady. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, great. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki. Yuri. You guys are my friends. I... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? B because. Well. Also. 
Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Big, blonde, and beautiful. Well, she's not blonde, but... I'm just making a reference. Continue. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. Oh, that was my voice. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. There's fights all the time in clubs, and sometimes you just can't really say anything to get any side to calm down, or... It gets crazy. Sometimes you just have to tell them, hey, opposite side of the room, just ignore the other. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. Then again, you could have said a lot of things. <laughs> she might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. You can count on me! Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? Oops, I clicked off. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Panda Brady, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow! And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Oh. Uh, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Panda Brady, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Panda Brady, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori hasn't still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? <laughs> I don't know what I just did there. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. I like channeled my inner Nigel Thornberry and Austin Powers. <laughs> I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Uh, is that is that from the developers? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. <coughs> Oops. That probably sounded terrible. 
Um, let's see. Boop! I have to use it. Oh, it's such a cute word. Um, I will always pick Marshmallow when Marshmallow is there. Um, empty. Um, tenacious D. Um, massacre. Crimson. I keep seeing little light flashes over on the left side. Maybe it's because I'm picking a. Anyways, um. Fester. Um. Kiss. Candy! Candy Kohog Marshmallow! Who wants to live in Korea? Uh, what should I go with? Uh, uh, uh. Bubbles. Cause fucking bubbles! I love that nostalgia critic. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. That, that was a little oops on my part. I will have to look over that later. Uh, I'll have to edit that as well. Um, in a world, <clears throat> in a world of pure imagination. Um, bouncy, trouncy, pouncy, wouncy, fun, 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 fun. Poppies. Wait. Yeah, I'll go with puppies. Um, disaster. Uh, cage. Uh, effulgent. Effulgent. That's actually a word I've never seen before. So I will go with mouse. Huh. Defeat hap oops. Can I go back? No, I cannot. Um and pout. And general disarray. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sneeze pretty hard. Another day passes, it's already time for the club. It's gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Panda Brady. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Am I nose bleeding? No, it just smells like it. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But, I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Speaking of which... I'm kinda hungry. Ow, I keep hitting my... freaking... earbuds. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh <laughs> Why that, all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Aha! She wanted me to buy the stuff! I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry! And so, 
<laughs> I'm always hungry! <laughs> and so, that only leaves the one option. Wah! I don't know why I did that. I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! OBJECTION! <laughs> if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> I'm an ace attorney! Huh. I heard the uh, Danganronpa's kind of like that. I may play that after this. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Oh. Eh? <laughs> I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, ah! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yeah. Yuri! Tell Panda Brady to let me borrow some money! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous, mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Mm. Ah, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to ex accept the revolution. Retribution. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, wait, did I just say revolution? That. S that. <laughs> Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes, <laughs> so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. <laughs> come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Plap! Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... eh? Uh, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. It, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> oh, right, I gave her a, no a nasally voice. <laughs> Natsuki? That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it! Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Sure good. Mm -f Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> you're, go you're going through a lot to over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. But hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes! Monica, can you tell Sayori- Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. <sighs> Sorry, I'm super late. 
Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, n never mind that. What held you up, anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. Oh, that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Panda Brady. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I mean, besides, you know, the whole cookie and cupcake thing. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapades. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone is already sold down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Of course. In the closet. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the episode here. Like and favor if you enjoyed, subscribe, it'll really help out my channel, and you'll become a part of the Panda Party, because there ain't no party like a Panda Party, because Panda Party don't stop. And I will see you in the next video. Later.